Hello Aries, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-September 2023. Aries, it's lovely to be with you. I hope you guys are well. Now in meditation, I saw two people sort of in a split screen messaging each other um, and both of them were thinking, I wonder what we do now. Where is this going to go? Is it going to go anywhere? Is it just going to fizzle out? Mm, it may be a situation, Aries, where two people are married to other people and they met. It could be they met at a distance, on a trip, a work event, a conference. Whatever this is, these two people have kept in touch privately, secretively. Neither of them, though, know what to do with this. Do we move into an affair situation? Do we talk about trying to come together and make a relationship work? You don't know. You don't know because you don't really know how the other person feels. And maybe for some of you, Aries, you haven't had the confidence to ask that very straight question, right? As in, are you serious about me? So with that said, guys, we're going to be delving in and see what comes through. Maybe your message, Aries, it may not be, okay? But I feel this is for someone who is in a very staid, long-term relationship. The love is just gone and the other person is in the same situation. So we've got two people here who want to be together, but who is going to take charge of this and ask those important questions, right? Was it just momentary because both of us were a bit bored, both of us were feeling a bit alone, or is it something we can build on? So Aries, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Oh, ooh, ooh, Aries, there you are, Queen of Wands. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is mid-September 2023. I'm hearing that old Michael Jackson song, remember the time, remember the time. How does it go? We fell in love. Mm, okay. Both of you are deep in nostalgia about when you met and what you both said is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, Queen of Wands, Magician. Aries, you really want this. You really want to manifest a relationship with this person. Could be a Virgo, Scorpio or a Gemini. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm smiling to myself. I'm hearing the words, you light up my life. It sounds a bit corny, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay. The Wheel of Destiny. Aries, you are thinking of making a move, maybe breaking the chains. You may have felt stuck in a situation for quite a long time. Seven of Wands. But, Aries, you're also sitting in a little bit of a defensive energy. You just don't want to move from the frying pan into the fire, right? What if I leave my long-term relationship and then this person doesn't commit to me or this does, or this relationship doesn't work? You're very nervous, but you're so wanting to see if this person is feeling the same. In the past, six of coins. You were in an equal give and take relationship in the past, Aries, but... There's a sense of we've been together for so long, we just live our day-to-day -day lives, the routine is always the same, nothing very exciting. And I think, Aries, you fell into a very boring relationship with someone that might have just been stable, but there's no excitement, there was no life left in the relationship that you were in. Three of coins. Okay, Aries, you may have met someone at work or linked to work. You could have been thinking quietly that it would be nice to meet someone else, but you didn't take action. 
I think Aries, then it actually happened. And then you did. Ace of coins. And what you've been considering is, if I make a move towards this person and really talk to them about the fact that I'm unhappy, about the fact I want to leave my relationship, is there a potential this is going to work out? You could even be Aries thinking about moving with the Ace of Coins. I could leave this area. I could go and live with this person or they could live with me. But I do feel I am connecting with two people who are with partners, both of them, but very unhappy. Death card, Scorpio energy. You want to leave the past cycle behind, Aries. You want out of this connection you've been stuck in. You want change and transformation. But look at that. What you're fearful of is walking away from the connection you're in because it's stable, because you know that person, because you got into a routine. It's familiar. It's what you know. You're afraid of moving into uncharted territory, Aries where there are no guarantees. But I think you're also afraid of staying in a relationship that you're unhappy in. Your person's energy, Aries. Six of Cups, they're dreaming of, of being with you, coming back to you. They're remembering the time that you two spent together when you met. So look at that. Both of you are thinking about each other. You're thinking of breaking out of your relationship. They're thinking of coming to see you, coming back together with you. What you're hoping, Aries, with the Queen of Swords is that you have the courage to speak your truth. It could be this is you wanting to have that all-important conversation with your person that you want to be with, i.e., Look, if you feel the same way as me, are you ready to take charge of your relationship? Because I am. I'm ready to get out. Are you ready? That's what you want to know. Is it just me? Is it one-sided? Is this person just flirting with me? Or are they thinking the way I'm thinking, which is we should be together? Hangman. Oh, Aries, you feel really stuck. You feel really stuck. You're trying to see everybody's points of view. Family members, maybe. Their person's point of view. Their karmic partner, maybe. You're feeling stuck, but... You're really keen to take a risk, I feel. Your energy, page of swords, okay. There could be a very blunt conversation about children. What are we going to do about our kids, right? Would our kids cope with, say, divorce? Would you take on my kids? Four of coins. Oh, Aries. You see, this is the quandary. You really want change. You really want to be with this person. You think they feel the same way as you. But then the fear kicks in. This is you hanging on to your money. This is you thinking, actually, when it came down to it, I don't think I could leave my partner. But you're both dreaming of being together. Your person's energy, Aries. Ace of Wands. Wow. They do want a passionate new start with you. And they are really struggling in their long-term relationship. Okay, so Aries, I think they want this as much as you do. But this is someone trying to figure out, was it just attraction? Was it just momentary chemistry? Or can we build on this? Was it deeper? They're trying to figure that out. Was it because I was unhappy in a relationship? Or... Did I genuinely fall for Aries? That's what they're trying to figure out. Yeah, underneath the deck, five of cups. Feeling sad, feeling down, not knowing what to do, feeling left out in the cold, you're not happy in your partnership. Yes, you're in a legal contract with justice, but you desperately want to get out of it. I think with the two of swords, you've been pushing down your feelings. Hermit. Your feelings are, I feel by myself in this relationship. I feel alone in this relationship. 
So why am I still in it? I don't want to be here anymore. I want to be with this person. It's difficult. So Aries, on the board, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Energy, Virgo with a Hermit, Pisces with a Hangman. What else have we got here? The Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra. Yeah. Yeah. So Aries, you are wanting to have a straightforward conversation with this person to figure out, are they ready to leave their connection as you are? Are they ready? Because I think you feel that you too could have a wonderful new life. So, my lovely Aries, let's get into this. But under the deck, wow, four of wands, yeah. So there may be talk in the future about living together, maybe. All right. Archangel Michael, what is the Wheel of Fortune crossed with the Seven of Wands for my Aries? Wow, and we've come straight out with card that was under the deck, Four of Wands, yeah. So Aries, this is you thinking of embracing a new life, thinking of moving into a new cycle. A destined turn of events is about to happen, but you've got mixed emotions. I feel, Aries, sometimes... You know that you're ready for change. You know that you want to embrace an, a new cycle, a new relationship with this person that you met. And then other days you may feel, well, seven of wands, no, I'm not ready yet. I can't do this. It's too scary. What, what if it doesn't work out? There's an off and on energy that you feel relating to the situation. Because where you are right now, Aries, no, it isn't exciting, right? There are no fireworks. You might have known your partner for 10, 15, 20 years, but it's stable. You know each other. They're familiar. You're stepping into the unknown or considering doing that. And that is frightening. What is on Aries mind? The moon. Okay. You may want to be with a Cancerian Aries or you've been keeping all of this to yourself under wraps. Page of Wands. But you've been passionately messaging this person, Aries, and you're wondering, could it work out? Could it work out? Ten of Cups, you want to be happy. You're dreaming of a new life with this person. But again, there we have it. This is you looking at the past. Everything you put into the current relationship, the financial stability, Seven of Swords, okay. Aries, you're strategizing as to how to get out of a relationship, keeping as much money as you can, or leaving rather, with as much money as you can. You're being strategic, but it's because you're nervous. You can't face losing everything in a divorce. What you're thinking about is, if this person feels the same way, I would do this, but I need to protect my finances. What happened in the past with a six of coins, Michael? What happened in the past for my Aries? Yeah. So Aries, Emperor, you could have been in a stable relationship with your husband. It was um, nice and safe, but again, routine, a bit boring, a bit staid. He could have been a bit controlling with the emperor, the devil, and it was toxic. It was toxic. Now, you may have known Aries as an Aries female that your husband stepped out, that he wasn't faithful to you. You may know that. You could also have been with a Capricorn with a devil. Or you could have been obsessed with someone that you met in the past. The Empress, wow. Emperor, Empress, Devil, Six of Coins. It was an equal give and take relationship, but it was based on toxicity. Control, secrets, a desire to break free and financial stability. 
After that time there is, I think, with the three of coins, you consider putting work into a third party situation. Yes, because with the Ace of Cups, you wanted new love. You might have met someone, Aries, and it was as if, wow, I could imagine a life with this person. Yeah, fool. You wanted to go for it, Aries. You wanted to build a new life with this person you met in the past. Knight of Cups could have been a younger water sign a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, but you had a lot of love for whoever this was that you met. Nine of Pentacles, and you thought about breaking free and becoming single. So Aries, what you're thinking about now is Ace of Coins. Could it work? Could it turn into a relationship? You may be thinking of leaving the area if you left your husband move to another area, maybe closer to this person, could it work? This is you considering uprooting your life and shifting in a new direction. What is on Aries' mind? The Tanner Wands. Oh, Aries, the thought of doing this is exciting, but it's stressful. What's on Aries' mind, Michael? What's on Aries' mind? The Lovers. Yeah, you want to be with this person in the past. You've never forgotten this person. Could be a Gemini. What's Aries thinking about? Leaving. Chariot. Cancerian energy. You just want to get out of Dodge. You just want to see this person. You want to find out if they're feeling the same way as you. Three of Swords. You're worried about the heartbreak that would ensue to your karmic partner, to maybe your kids. But you're heartbroken without this person. It's sort of a tricky situation to make a decision about. Under the deck, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're thinking about the financial loss. So guys, let's get timing for you. Archangel Michael, when do we have the Death card and the Six of Cups for my Aries? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing imminent. Okay, which means now. The time is sort of now. In the next two to three weeks, maybe. Let's have a look at your person's energy. They are dreaming of being back with you. They're dreaming of having a life with you. They've got very happy memories of when you met. They're sitting in nostalgia, Aries. King of Coins. So you could be thinking simply about someone who is married. Coming through as the King of Pentacles. Or you could be thinking about a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn masculine Aries you want to be with. You know this person's in love with you with the Two of Cups. Three of Cups, they just want to be back with you. They want to reunite with you, Aries. They want to come together and see you. The star, you are all their wishes coming true. Aquarian energy. If you guys left and it was difficult, you guys haven't been in communication, then this is someone who wants to heal the situation with you. Page of Coins, they want to turn up with a gift. Now, they could also be in a situation where they are considering giving money to a karmic partner. They may have a child or children to take into account. They could be thinking about child support. Two of Wands, they are trying to make a decision, as you are, Aries, as to whether or not they're ready to give it all up for love. That's what we're looking at, isn't it? Are they ready to give it all up for love? Knight of Wands. I think they're trying to make a decision as to whether or not they're just physically extremely attracted to you. Is it lust, right? Is it because they're bored in their relationship? Or did they genuinely fall in love with you? They're trying to figure it out. Now, Aries, you're sitting thinking about the death card. You could be thinking of a Scorpio. 
or you could be thinking of making a change to your situation to embrace this new relationship. Yeah, Nine of Swords. So guys, you're not sleeping well. You're highly stressed. Cards are flying. Yeah, Queen of Coins. You're in a relationship too. But you two are coming through as a true pair. King and Queen of Pentacles. You know this would work. Seven of Cups. But there's the emotional confusion. You may be wondering, Aries... Did this person have flings with other women? Am I the only one? Did they genuinely fall in love with me? Or was I just one of many? You may not know this person that well. But the spark was mutual. It was undeniable. It's sort of this unbreakable bond. And you can't forget each other. Five of Swords. Aries, your last meeting may have been very difficult. You may have just left. They could have just left. There could have been harsh words spoken. But I think this is you desperate to get out of your relationship. You just want to go. Yeah, four of swords. You've been thinking about just leaving your relationship and moving forward with this person. What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two? The faith card. Yeah, you're both married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is the challenge. What do you do? So guys, we end with the hangman. This is you just feeling stuck, trying to see their point of view. They're trying to see your point of view. You're not really moving. Either of you. I think this is just fear. You're both feeling the fear. Yes. Because you're risking walking away, both of you, from stable, long-term relationships. Ten of Pentacles. What do you do? Knight of Swords. Aries, you could end up having an unexpected argument with your partner. And it could relate to the fact that you're unhappy what are you going to say to your partner Aries wow ace of swords it's done I don't want to be with you anymore I don't love you anymore I can't be in this relationship any longer so Aries I think all this mounting pressure could lead to an argument and you may say to your partner okay I think we've got to separate I, ca I can't do this anymore ten of swords they may say to you, I feel betrayed. They may know it's because of someone else. Who is Aries leaving? Well, we know you're leaving your emperor. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Aries, you're trying to break free from someone who I think has thought about divorce themselves, but hasn't done it because they didn't want to lose the money. This is someone who may not have been able to afford to divorce you. Or you're leaving someone, Aries, who, to be honest with you, has felt left out in the cold. Maybe the love went between the two of you a long time ago. Maybe they had an inkling that you met someone in the past. What does Aries' partner want? Do they want to stay in the relationship? Six of Swords. I think, Aries, if they knew that the love really was gone, I think they would let you go. It may be that they feel that they've learned a lot of lessons in your relationship. And this is someone who just wants a calm life. They may feel that if you two split, they would move on themselves. What is Aries saying to this person? Page of Cups, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So Aries, you may know that this person has been hanging on to this relationship too. But despite not knowing if you are going to get together with a person that you met in the past, you may decide that your relationship is over and done with in any case. There could be talk about money for a child here. 
What is Aries saying to their partner? King of Swords. Okay, we ought to seek legal advice. Aries, you are detaching from your partner. Now, what is going to happen between Aries and the person they met in the past? King of Cups. Oh, Aries, this person's in love with you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio or somebody who's been hiding their true feelings for you. This person does love you, Aries. They do love you. It's not just passion. What does this King of Cups want from Aries? Do they want to build a relationship? King of Wands. Oh, yes, they do. They want to take action. Wow. They want to take action. They're so attracted to you. Yeah. Wow. Eight of Wands. Lots of messages of passion backwards and forwards. Aries, I think you are going to be immediately messaging this guy to say, I've done it. I've bitten the bullet. I don't really want you to feel pressure here, but I am leaving my person. We're separating. We're seeking advice from a divorce lawyer. Now, if you're not actually married, but you've been living with your person for a long time, you've got children, it's a similar sort of thing. You're sorting out the legalities, the documentation, the documentation. Maybe wondering what to do about the house. Do we sell the house and split the proceeds? But you're doing this. Okay, so what is the King of Cups going to do in his situation? Because he's still married. Three of Wands, okay, he's going to leave too. Three of Wands, he's waiting for his ships to come in. He wants to be with you, Aries. Wow, he wants to be with you. Nine of Cups. This is someone who just feels incredibly happy when they think about you. Think about the life that you two could have. Judgment. This is somebody who was making a serious judgment call to do the same thing. I think, Aries, this was someone who was waiting for you to make the first move. And they told themselves, OK, if Aries tells me that they're leaving their partner, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to leave my partner, too. And they're doing it. What is Aries and their King of Cups going to be discussing? Money, pooling your money. This is you thinking, well, I'm going to have money in a divorce settlement or I've got a good job. This person may also have savings, money tucked away. You're going to be talking about the money that it would take for you two to build a new life together. Aries, this is very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Six of Wands, victory and success. Aries, you may do very well in a court case, as in you could be awarded quite a lot of money in a court case in a divorce. This is you feeling victorious. Do we have a final card for my lovely Aries? Goodness me. Temperance. So I feel, Aries, when everything is said and done, when the dust is settled, you two are going to be meeting up regularly, talking about your future. There may be discussions here about moving, relocating. You're going to be talking about the fact that you don't want to rush into something too serious. Because I feel over the next few months, Aries, both of you may be going through a, a divorce. It could take a year for both of you. You're going to need to coast for a little bit. But I think what this shows is both of you want to be together. And Aries, if you've been sitting there thinking, I don't know how this person feels, I don't know if they would take that jump with me, the answer is clear. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. This person loves you. So Aries, it's been a really beautiful reading. I'm going to get some messages for you, okay? Here we go. Sacred Soul Portals. So what advice do we have from the universe for my Aries? Thank you, Michael whole heart. Devote yourself to your endeavours without concern. Committing helps you grow. Aries, I think you two are going to commit to each other. Go for it. Go for it, okay? 
reflecting. It's time to remember the past and bring that wisdom forward to assist you now. So if Aries, you know that there were issues in your previous partnership, remember those lessons and don't take them with you into a new relationship, okay? Remember what you learned in your previous relationship. Making magic. Whatever you touch turns to gold and you manifest like the powerhouse you truly are. Aries, I think this new relationship is going to give you a breath of fresh life. It's going to be like a breath of fresh air. You're going to feel very different. You're going to be enthused with the excitement and energy and optimism that you didn't feel in your previous relationship. It's as if together you can do anything and that's a wonderful feeling. It's a wonderful feeling. Yep, find the exit. You're wrapping up this chapter of your life. It's time to move on gracefully now. Accept the change needs to happen. Know that your other person is fully on board and simply step through the door. Simply step through the door. Full of hope. Hold on to your dreams as they begin to come to fruition. Focus your clear intention. Again, go for it, Aries, okay? This is really lovely. So if this is your reading, do let me know. Um, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can reach to me. My website is down below. So Aries, I'm going to leave it there. As always, take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye now.